He's like super old. Oh, he, he is so cool. Actually, I don't mind to pay for him. Hi, how are you? <laughs> Very good, thank you. Pardon? We've not got uh, it's all good. <laughs> you guys been busy? Oh, we just set up. Oh, cool. Oh, we got started. That works. How much are your dishes? Still, all your pioneer woman stuff. <laughs> I think that um, picture is pioneer woman too. Oh, oh, this one here. Yeah, okay, cool. Oh, yep, you're right. Thank you. I'll keep looking. It's my little pile, if that's okay. <laughs> Thank you. He's like super old. Oh, he, he is so cool. Actually, I don't mind to pay for him. Thank you. I'll put him in my pile for sure. He's awesome. <laughs> it's the right season. We're moving. We. Oh, are we're you? Okay. Out this weekend, so we're... Oh, so you got to get rid of stuff. Yeah. Rid of stuff. That makes sense. <laughs> I hear you. I think I'm ready. Out of interest, how much are you asking for your rocking chairs? Um, I don't know, like 20 bucks for both. Okay, cool, thank you. Do you mind if I take a picture to show my husband? Oh, Is that okay? <laughs> thank you. All right, so, what do I owe you? I'm take a, you'd let I me know. know what's... <laughs> uh, 15 bucks? 20. All right, sure. Thank you very much. Thanks. I'm gonna take some you stuff. Um, if that's okay, sure. Thank you. I think I'm gonna come back for that one. Hi, how are you? Doing great. Thank you.
Are you two bucks? Thank you all. Thank you. Have a good one. You too. <laughs> all right, you guys, welcome to the haul. So, I think I have two yard sales in here um, that I'm going to show you right now. One of them, I think I paid a total of $20 um, and I got all kinds of cool stuff. A lot of Pioneer Woman that you can kind of see peeking through here, which actually has a really good resale value depending on the piece. Even though it was only from Walmart, it's kind of collectible. At this point, people really love it and they don't sell all the same pieces anymore. Um, so let me start over here with a willow tree piece. These don't do as well as they used to once upon a time, but this one is the Promise Cake Topper. And I thought because it was something a bit more specific, i.e. the cake topper, that it may do a little bit better. Um, like I said, paid $20 in total for everything from this yard sale. So it's down here. Looks to be in really nice condition when I took it out. All right, onto Pioneer Woman stuff real quick. So we have a rolling pin it's marked down the bottom there and i'll try and put some comps up if i can find them we have the measuring cup set so i believe that this is complete there's no cracks or chips or anything like this and they're all marked with their sizes i have two uh, i'm assuming like a casserole dish there we go this one is very pretty and then we have a slightly larger kind of like an aqua blue one Back here, we have three sort of pitchers slash jugs. So we have this one here, this large pitcher. It actually says on the bottom exactly what it is. So that's going to be very helpful when I look it up. We have this one right here, which is like a smaller measuring jug there. This one did have a couple of little chips and foshies, so I may end up keeping this one for myself. And the last piece of Pioneer Woman was this very, very heavy glass pitcher. Perfect for like lemonade or iced tea or whatever. My husband is really vying to keep this one in our house, so we'll see. I'll have to check comps before I say yes or no to that. <laughs> All right, I also picked up from that yard sale this guy. Um, Actually, when I picked him up, the, the man said to me, oh, he's really, really old. Like, you can just have him if you you want him which was very very generous um but i did say that i would pay him because i know that i am going to be most likely reselling him however kind of want to keep him because i love my vintage halloween blow molds and um, he does have a little barcode on the back it just say made in the usa i can't see any like actual marks on him like branding wise um but i do believe uh, from what he said that he is an older piece not least because of the uh, plug itself <laughs> all right and the last item i got from that yard sale was this lily bloom um purse i I guess it's kind of like a backpack it like could be either a shoulder bag or a backpack but it has like a forest scene on it so you can see deer and owls and all that good stuff there looks to be in almost new condition i've actually never picked up this brand before but i've seen other resellers pick it up so when i saw it, it was in such good shape and it was so cheap i decided to give this one a try and i tell a lie this must have been three yard sales because this is the only item i got from this particular yard sale it is some monster high stands so you have the little piece there that sits and then you have the actual stand um, where you would put your doll in here. I paid $3 for this lot only because there were so many of them and I saw a similar lot sell for $25 plus shipping. Um, so $3 into $25 would not be too bad at all. Plus really easy to photograph, store and ship. Okay, and at the last one, I picked up only two items as well. So I paid a dollar for these Teva. They are, uh, I can't remember what they're actually called. They say mush on them. Um, I have sold this style many, many times, but they do better when they have the colors and the patterns just like this one. So a dollar for those. They should sell for around like 15 to 18. And then this was a little bit of a wild card, the Peeping Felines mug. Um, the brand was 
Ashteen. So I did look at some comps. There was one listed for 30, one that had sold for five, um, and then lots of other ones like for the brand, like the exact same brand, but just not the same peeping felines pattern that had sold around 25 to 30. So I think what may have happened is that somebody had undersold their piece. I could be wrong, of course, but I decided for a dollar to give it a try because the subject matter is great and it is still in its original box. So it's perfect for like a Christmas present or something like that. All right, you guys, thank you for coming along with me to today's yard sale. I think my favorite find, though, has to be this giant blow mold. Like, I love to find these vintage blow molds, don't we all? Um, but especially when they are Halloween themed. Always get a kick out of that. As usual, if you enjoyed this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. And if you're new here and you like thrifting and yard sailing and flipping stuff online for a profit, then don't forget to hit that subscribe button down below as well and the bell notification so you never miss a video. As usual, if you're looking for a friendly Facebook group, you can check out mine, link down below, Thrift Nice. And last Lastly, if you're on the hunt for any fun reseller or thrifting themed merchandise like t-shirts, funny packs or masks, you can check out my Teespring store link down below as well. Alright you guys, I will catch you in the next one. Bye!